I think a brand is only going to have more and more responsibility um, to protect and be um, cognizant of their customers' data. I mean, if you're not, you're going to be out of business. Um, and I think that that's just a premise. Um, <clears throat> I think as a brand, you have to think about how you want to interact with your customer. And I'd suggest to you, you're probably going to have customers that want to interact with you more, customers that just want to know, have awareness of who you are, and then customers who don't want to interact with you. And I think a brand over time, if you set your data strategy right, you're going to be able to work with those different groups differently. Okay, so for example, for the, cu the, the customer who wants to interact with you, and you and I are going to share a lot of information with them. Because the more information I give them, and it's all permission-based, the more information I get, the more insight you can give me on what I want out of you as a brand, right? Um, walking down the street, it could be your favorite coffee shop. You know what, you're walking down the street, I know that you, you know a special drink I like. You should be able to email me or message me and tell me, hey, there's a, there's a coffee shop right around the corner, why don't you come in and have a coffee? That's a huge value exchange for you and I, okay? You could take that all the way up to car manufacturers when your lease payments are gonna be coming due. Hey, we have a new program for you to go after. But that's opt-in, that's permission-based, and you know what, that's extremely valuable. Um, and I think we have to focus specifically on that and making that experience um, so sticky that I wouldn't wanna go to another coffee brand because that's so sticky. Then I think there's the category of people who just wanna be aware they just want to be aware of the options they have, and you want to be in that consideration set. So you want to be able to advertise to people because they're walking down the street and your coffee shop is on that street. You can do that through third-party data often and not violate anybody's privacy. Um, and then the last is the people who do not want to be advertised to at all, right? And there you have to probably go after much more of a content strategy um, and, and entice them to come into a conversation. Uh, with you around a particular topic that may be important to you in the environment or something around how coffee is grown. But you sort of have to think about these, I think, groups in, in three different categories at least um, to think about how your brand's going to represent itself and how you protect consumer privacy. But it all gets down to the value exchange. It all goes back in my mind to as long as I'm providing value, either in that first group, the second group, or the third group, whatever the value is, you're protected. Um, and I think brands have to think through that, th through that strategy with their agencies.